hi everyone welcome back if you do not know my name is Devin here on my channel I cover all things beauty that includes makeup fragrance and designer here and there if you think that is something you'll be interested in then I hope you stay and subscribe to my channel don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every week when I upload. And in today's Vlogtober video, you guys, we are talking about the newest collection from Pink. And this is going to be the Glazed Collection, you guys. I have already smelt them all and I have a little bit of thoughts, but I'm going to re-smell them with you guys because I just kind of played with a bunch of things yesterday. But yeah, um, if you guys are interested and want to hear my thoughts on this beautiful brand new collection, then just keep All watching. All right, you guys. So in this collection, it is four fragrances and then they have four body lotions. I end up getting three of the fragrances and two of the lotions. And the reason I did that is because I actually had ordered the whole complete set online, but it never came. It's, it's a long, it's a long drawn out thing, but basically my stuff never came. So they canceled my order and I had to go back in stores when I went back in stores, all of the stores, I went to three different stores. Each store had like a little bit of each collection and it didn't have everything. Um, the I'll start with the spray that I wasn't able to get because every last one of the stores did not have this one at all. And this is the Glaze Fresh and Clean. I'm not sure why. Um, somebody said like they just weren't able, they can't put them out yet, um, which is dumb because you can do a buy online pick up in store so I don't know I didn't do that I went into the store and she was like yeah we don't we can't put them out yet so whatever I guarantee when I go back probably at the end of the week because I will be going back to probably take some of the things that I didn't enjoy back I want to go ahead and get the body spray for this um, this one is Ice Lemon Sorbet, Pink Apple, and Chantilly Cream. And this actually smells really, really nice. And I really want that. Anything with a lemon note, I'm here for. Um, so yeah, so let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. I have already done a video um, talking about the new I Am Cozy collection. So if you guys have not already seen that, I will have a link below. But I know that one is going up today when I'm filming, so yeah. This one does smell really, really nice. Um, I do get that sweet lemon sorbet type of scent in here, which I really, really enjoy. That's all I'm kind of picking up right now. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute, but um, as long as it stays like that, and if it's not too much of that apple, cause I'm not a big apple girl, then I'm okay with this and I'll definitely be keeping this, but I have to wear this one a little bit more. But I definitely for sure want to go back and get the body spray. It smells really, really nice. So, so far I'm definitely enjoying this scent. You guys, so moving on to the next fragrance from this collection, this is going to be the Glaze Cool and Bright. I don't think I own anything from the Fresh and Clean or the Cool and Bright, if I'm not mistaken, but this one is Candy Pear, Frozen Orchid, and Fruity Gumdrops. Now this is one that I kind of had already had in my head that I might not enjoy this one because I don't really enjoy pear, okay? So just because I don't enjoy pear, it does not mean that you guys wanna enjoy pear. If you do like pear, you probably will. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it again. Now this one, I know 100% is gonna go back. This is not for me. I did not read the scent notes when I purchased these in store. I kind of just grabbed everything because I'm like, you know what? I didn't get my order. It's already been a week or two um, that this has been out. So I didn't really think, but had I did that, I wouldn't have gotten this one. And let me tell you that it's not a bad scent. I do get a prominent pear note. It is something very sweet in here. It might be the added of the gumdrop note in here. It's also a little something a little bit tart, a little sour. So it's not a horrible scent at all, but I just do not rock with pear. I don't rock with pear and I smell it too prominent in here. I did play with this one. I put this one on my skin. It just wasn't for me. So this one is definitely one that is going to have to go back because it's just not for me. All right, the next fragrance is going to be the Glazed Warm and Cozy. And I'm pretty sure I have something from Warm and Cozy in my collection. I should have got the different sprays out and kind of compared them. But if I'm being honest, a lot of their collections that are like, 
they never really smell alike in my opinion so anyways this one is pink passion fruit coconut sugar and fluffy marshmallow now this one i surprisingly like i wasn't sure if i was gonna like this one because of the coconut sugar in here this one is definitely more fruity to me. Um, it does have that passion fruit note in here. It also has a really, really sweet and fluffy type of dry down. I don't know, I really enjoy this one as well. Um, it I smell a hint of coconut in here, like an ever so slight hint. It's not anything crazy. This one I'm going to play around a little bit more with, um, but so far it's not a bad scent at all. The very last one from the Glaze collection is going to be Vanilla and Dreamy. Now I did a video a long time ago talking about the newest Vanilla and Dreamy scent. It wasn't really my favorite. I think I returned that one if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I was a little bit hesitant with this one, but then I read the notes and I was like, it's no way that's not going to be good. This is vanilla donut, coconut creme, and soft caramel. I was like, it's no way that that's not going to be good. So we're going to go ahead and spray this one. And you guys, I really, really like this one. Mm. I don't really get a donuts per se. Kind of get some type of like vanilla glaze on top of a donut or something like that. If you ever had like a glazed donut, I kind of get that. It's not as doughy as I would want it to, but I do get a slight hint of like a caramel note in the background, but it's not super, super prominent. But it's definitely something very sweet and delicious like about this one. So I went ahead and picked up this and the lotion as well, because I was like, you can't go wrong with like, donuts right or vanilla donuts did i open this i haven't even opened this one let me open this okay let's put a little bit on somewhere now where can i put it okay i'll put it here i have so much stuff on today this smells nice it also has a little bit of a artificially type smell to it but it kind of smells good all at the same time. I don't know. These pink lotions can be a hit or miss because they smell lotion-like. They smell a little bit more clean and they're not like super thick. But it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, so yeah, that is everything from the Glaze collection. Now, what I will say is this is a cute little collection, right? But I personally don't think it's nothing that you have to run out and buy everything up in. Definitely have seen aspects of these and it could just be because they are like flankers from the original pink line. Um, so maybe that's where I'm getting that like they smell familiar type of scent. Um, I do think they are some nice scents. There are some good scents, but are they like, oh my God, yes, I need everything. No, they're not. Um, you honestly, depending on you and your scent profile you might not even need anything from this collection um if i had to rank this collection i would say in fourth place it definitely will be the glaze cool and bright this is my least favorite again it's not a bad scent it's just not one that i personally am into so i would say that it's kind of like it's hard to decide because i don't really have the lotion for this one i don't have the spray for this one so they can smell completely different but if i'm using what i have i think these two specifically this will be third and this will be second and then obviously the glaze vanilla and dreamy will be first place for me usually almost anything with vanilla takes over my heart so um that's probably why this one is in first place but if i'm being honest is this one that i absolutely need it's not it's very similar to things that i already have in my collection but because i don't own the vanilla and dreamy anymore i don't think i will probably just keep this because it is a little bit different from that one and i think that one i think did that one have coconut in it too i think maybe that was the reason why i took it back i don't know but this one is a really really nice set so i think most people will enjoy that one so i am interested to know have any of you guys picked up any of these like normal people you know people that are not doing reviews for other people have you picked up any of these do any of these sound like anything that you absolutely need and yeah that is it i will see you again tomorrow for another vlog tober video bye guys